The primary election is less than a month away with hotly contested races from the governor's seat to state superintendent. King County staff say they're putting voters' ballot security concerns to rest tonight. Como's Jackie Kent watched their ballot machines testing for accuracy today. So, Jackie, how did it go? Yeah, Molly, just as well as they had anticipated, you can expect to get your ballot in the mail next week. Once it's filled out, dropped in a mailbox or drop box, that ends up back here at elections headquarters. Today, we checked out the tabulation system that officials claim cannot be hacked. King County elections workers are preparing to take in more than half a million ballots this primary election. To check the accuracy of their tabulation system, workers ran more than 800 pre-marked test ballots through scanners that do not connect to the internet for added security, then compared the answers to the expected results. Observers and elections officials certified they all matched. Our elections are secure, accurate, and transparent. Folks can be watching us on the web. They can come here and physically watch us in the loop as we're processing ballots. King County Elections ballot Director ballot Julie Weiss records. adds that this year there are also new protections in place for King County elections workers. This after the state has made it a felony for anyone to harass elections employees. These elections headquarters last year received two envelopes containing fentanyl and threatening notes. So we're doing training, um, active shooter training, um, de-escalation training. There's also a new online system that will let voters address any signature issues so that their ballot is counted. Weiss says 1 to 2 percent of ballots are flagged because the signature does not match the voter registration signature. Seattle University political science really professor Patrick Shetmer that. claims this system remains among the best in the country. We're still where a lot of places that are transitioning to uh, vote by mail come to to learn how to do it and to do it right. Also, don't forget there is a ballot tracker, a very helpful tool that you could download. You can get emails and text messages to let you know where your ballot is in the process all the way until that signature is verified, meaning your ballot has been counted. A new feature on that this year is they'll let you know if they have not yet received your ballot. It's a good reminder. We have the details for that on our website. For now, live in Renton, Jackie Kent, Come On News. Tonight on the deep end, we're looking ahead to the primary election that's less than a month away. King County elections officials are working to ease concerns about ballot security. Mary Nam joins us tonight. Mary, ballot machines were once again tested for accuracy. That's right. They always do this a few weeks before the election. Workers ran over 800 pre-marked test ballots, and election officials said all of the results came out as expected. Tonight, I talked to Jackie Ken about the extra, extra steps the election staff are taking to make sure ballots are secure and accurate. Yeah, so this is a process they do before every election, 26 days out, just to show everyone that after you drop your ballot into your mailbox or a drop box, they want to show you what happens next to your ballot and make sure people know that their ballot is counted. So for this primary, less than a month away, they're expecting to take in about half a million ballots, about 40% voter turnout for a primary. Um, so they do a check of their tabulation system. They have people there from both political parties. They have other public observers to check this out too. What they do is they have pre-marked test ballots and they had about 800 of those today. They put them through the scanners and they compared those answers to another group of ballots that had the same results to just see if it would come out the same and the observers and the elections officials certified that all the answers matched, meaning that everything appears to be working um, on all of their systems. So, so this is something that they do um, transparently, their due diligence before um, the election. And you said they invited members of both parties and the media to show everyone how this mm -hmm. worked. Um, they're feeling confident. Yeah, they are. And they have a lot of the same Security precautions we've talked about in recent years. This isn't the first time we've we've covered a, a process like this. They have security cameras, or I should say web cameras, throughout the building. So um, if people wanted to, they could look online and watch this process on election day without seeing people's personal information on computers or, or on the ballots. People, the public can walk in and see this process happening on election day, and they can view from certain areas. Um, 
They also have some new things happening this year. They have um, workers who are trained by State Patrol for, for signature verification to help with that process. They've also updated their ballot tracker, which is a good resource. If, for those who haven't registered for that online, you could do that on the King County Elections website. It lets you know where your ballot is in the process, and it <clears throat> tells you now the update this year is it'll tell you saying, hey, you haven't turned your ballot in yet. Make sure you do that. So that's the update this year. And then it will let you know up until your ballot signature is verified, meaning your votes have been counted. So you can follow it all the way throughout. Right, exactly. Do they have any concerns at all? They do over worker harassment. You might remember last year, King County Elections Headquarters right here in Renton got two envelopes mailed to them. They both turned out to have traces of fentanyl in them and some threatening letters. So they're really focused on safety. They have extra worker training this year to help people prepare for situations like that, handling the mail, um, how to deal with maybe a a disgruntled person shows up what to do or if, if they get an angry phone call how to deal with that so those are our big um, <clears throat> focuses this year also at the, the state level they lawmakers made it a felony to harass elections workers now so there's also extra protections at the state level so outside of those situations um that they have no control over, they want their workers to be prepared. They feel pretty confident equipment-wise, technology-wise, and yes. everything. Yep, they say they're good to go. We also just, you know, for a second opinion, we talked to a political science professor at Seattle University. Sometimes he volunteers here to, to help count ballots. He says this the system they have here is really, um, obviously, one of the first in the country to do mail-in only, but also other cities and counties look to King County if they look to do an all mail-in system because of how well it works and how safe it is. Sounds really good, Jackie. Kent, thanks so much. Thanks, Mary. So, Mary, now that they're ready, what kind of voter turnout is expected for this primary? Well, summer primaries are notorious for low turnout, but this year they're predicting 40 percent, which is considered pretty high compared to previous primaries. Pretty high stakes ballot. Thanks, Mary.